Good morning. I'm going with my husband this morning. We're in the food truck. We're at uh, Walmart doing the food pickup. He had to do an early pickup at 7 this morning. And um, I just was thinking about uh, gleanings and what, what, um, that, what that means, you know, in the Bible whenever they had um, the people did their harvesting and there was food that was left over say if they were harvesting wheat and then there was some that was left on the ground then they would take whatever was left over the poor could come in and they could harvest off of that and um, you can see here I don't know if you can see where we're coming into the dock but anyway that's um, that process still takes place today. We're doing that um, for the Joseph House Community Food Bank and there's a lot of businesses that network with us um, uh, and like Walmart or Sprouts or Cane's um, Chicken or just different places that we go and pick up the food. But um, I was, my, my thought this morning was about Ruth. Um, you know, the Bible says that um, you'll always have the poor with you. And so when we're talking, when you're talking about the process of gleaning and what does that mean, I was thinking that sometimes we, you know, we just need a little help. You might be going through a, a, a time in your life where maybe you're having trouble paying your utility bills or maybe, um, maybe your groceries are low. Um, and there are circumstances that cause people to go through different things. And, and, and thinking about Ruth this morning, um, Ruth lost, you know, her husband, uh, her father-in-law, her brother-in-law were killed. Uh, her and Naomi um, had walked a long distance uh, to get back to their home country. And so um, they were just in a point of a need uh, where they didn't have any food in their house. And um, they had they had to rely on gleaning or the support that God had set up in the word in His Word uh, to gain not a, a new dress or not a new car or something fancy, but just the essentials of life, uh, just something to nourish their body uh, to survive another day. And can I just say that? Um, I don't know what you're going through this morning, but maybe you might be in that position where you're trying to just buy your groceries or you're just trying to pay your bills. Um, the, in, in, to encourage you that in Ruth's case, that was only for a season. If you, if you remember, Ruth is in the line of uh, King David. Um, that's a big deal, you know? And so maybe... God setting you up to give birth to a king. I mean, maybe somewhere, maybe your grandson, grand, grandchild, great grandchild. Uh, maybe today, maybe today you're believing God to pay the bills, and maybe tomorrow um, you're giving birth to a king. And so um, we go through seasons and in, in our life, and we go through different times in our life, and. Um, I just encourage you today, whatever your season is, uh, that the that God would give you strength in that season, and uh, that to remember that He's Jehovah Jireh, the Lord God that sees ahead and provides every need. And so, He provided the need for Ruth, but Ruth had to go out into the field and get the need. And so, um, that's what my husband and I are doing this morning. Uh, we're just here at Walmart, and uh, we're going out into the field and we're picking up the need, and uh, we're going to bring. It back to the Joseph house and uh, we're going to share it with our community. So um, that was just my thought this morning was on Ruth and um, and just just to be encouraged that um, it might be a, a, a rough season now but tomorrow you might be living in a palace. God bless you and I love you very much.